the morning session, first session of the day. We grind it with pad, pad work. <laughs> My debut was in 2007 against Eddie Sanchez. Uh, I signed a three-fight deal with the UFC, and that was in uh, Las Vegas. After that fight, the most terrible fight I've ever had. I got cut from the UFC, and a couple of years after that, and I thought to myself, you know, I want to come back and fight. I don't want to be remembered for that fight against Eddie Sanchez. You know, it was a learning, it was learning curve, and I think losing back then was, it was a sign. For, for bigger and better things, you know, uh, and it did open up another door, but, you know, it was uh, pretty bad how the way it happened, but uh, I'm back now and, uh, and I'm grateful. So, um, pad work's done, it's hard work, so UFC 190 just around the corner. I'm about three weeks out, so looking forward to it, man. Can't wait to get in there. It's only 15 minutes of work in there, but you do hours and hours of training here. Yeah, all worthwhile when you win, so. So we've got the rest of the boys staying at Fight Lab Villas. That includes Mark Hunt and a couple of other big name fighters staying there. So I see the boys pulling up on their motorbikes, using the pool, jumping in to cool down in between training, sunbathing down there, and taking advantage of the really nice facilities that we have. So we got some chicken here, we got some um, ribs, um, barbecue sauce, we need the barbecue sauce. But I'm on a diet, so. The guy hit Mark last night, another motorbike, and Mark didn't even budge, the guy just stacked it. <laughs> he hit Mark, and Mark didn't even move, his bike just stayed still, and the guy just stacked it. And he picked him up and took him home and that. Yeah, it's got a bit, a bit of a barbecue happening here. It's like a sauna. We already feel like this in the villas. Yeah. Where's the corn beef? Oh, really? Oh, really? Uh, uh, Jim, Jim, where's the corn beef? <laughs> Jenna, where's the corn beef? <laughs> You didn't bring the cold beef. Yeah, it's a weekend. We had a, a good session this morning, and uh, we'll rest today and uh, rest, tom uh, rest tomorrow. And back on, on the grind on Monday. So, as you see, we're all like uh, having a bit of a uh, downtime, a bit of barbecue. See the way I uh, did the barbecue there. It's kind of simmered nice and, and uh, simmering at the moment. The way it does that is uh, the radius of the circumference times that by 10.2 of uh, the altitude um, gives that uh, burning sensation on the meat. So yeah. So how do we get this barbecue to simmer so nicely to uh, make the meat? Uh... What we've done because of the temperature, we've uh, made it super safe to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.